Today I'm making an interview with my good friend Kirsty. She is an amazing Australian woman currently living in London and she has been practicing yoga and tantra for four years, exactly like me. How did she start her tantric journey? For me, um, it began, I, I was living in Sydney in Australia at the time and I remember I was working a lot and I was starting to realize that I was not very fulfilled in my life and I started to realize, wow, I'm working a lot and actually I'm 25, what do I want to do? Where am I going really? And, you know, I was also trying to see where I could fit in in the world and, you know, wanting to move out to, to various places. You know, I was wanting to explore different communities and things, but I could never really find something that fit for me and, or rather that I, I was able to integrate in. So I then began to, I don't, actually it was, it was very spontaneous. I, I remember sitting in the lounge room um, at my home in Sydney and just thinking, why don't I just like move to the other side of the world? Or why don't I just get a visa and go travel or go work somewhere? And um, initially it was, um, I was thinking of going to South Africa, to France, and then I couldn't make my mind up and then I decided to London and um, it was also through a relationship I was at at the time, in, at the time that, yeah, he was um, very interested and very enthusiastic about the, the practice and the path and so then I was very curious as well. Um, I was, felt very confronted <laughs> um, with some things, but I found it uh, very interesting. And uh, a lot of it somehow seemed to make sense to me. And um, a lot of it also was somehow a little bit already integrated in my life. You know, some perspectives that I had were already there, just at a more, I wouldn't say superficial form, but um, at a little baby form <laughs> that just like a baby seed that needed to, to sprout. and. Um, yeah, so I then moved to London and um, I was ready to have a big change and I remember just wanting it so much and then I moved to London and two months later um, we came to visit the school here and they were doing renovations and I just helped out and then yeah, I began I began the classes at the, the yoga centre. There were even moments when I was in um, when I was in Australia where I would just like look to the sky and just be like there's got to be something more something beyond as you know there's got to be a life that's not only this and um, I think some of these big questions I was asking led to all these spontaneous beautiful things that manifested in my life. <laughs> 